Have you had your fill of summer yet? Hopefully not because there's a lot more in store. Ted is right. in with the latest. We've had some nice variety of weather, some uh, mm -hmm. relatively cool weather this week, but each day we've warmed up just a little more and now we're beginning to feel more of that humidity. And this morning, with that humidity, we were able to enjoy some showers, at least parts of the area, not here in the weather patio, I might add. But maybe we'll get some more later this weekend. But we're looking southward. Here's from the look from Vandal Road in Northwest Rochester to the south. Watch the showers move, dance across the landscape of the southern sky. That's a, a time lapse from our Lewiston Auto Camera. Increasing sunshine later in the morning, and then we broke out into full sun uh, just a couple of hours ago. Now more of that sunshine. Austin, we're looking now live outside with our Lewiston Auto uh, Camera from uh, Riverland, and we're enjoying a beautiful sun-filled day, especially if you're into summer warmth. Things have warmed up dramatically in the past couple of hours in the wake of those departing showers. They've really fizzled out in the last couple of hours, and well, some spots had decent rainfall. We had a report from near downtown had 16 hundredths of an inch of rain at the airport. It's only one hundredth of an inch and still that deficit still continues to grow at this point. 1.87 inches below the seasonal normal for this month, two and a half inches for summer overall, and that places us now in D1. That's the latest from the drought monitor for the USDA. That is drought, uh, the moderate level, and uh, we've We've done better than this at least, but the record for the driest ever August in Rochester history, 1941, less than a third of an inch, one hundredth of an inch today. Uh, Plainview registering 13 hundredths of an inch, Preston 4 hundredths of an inch very early on. But now the sunshine dominates. We'll wait for maybe tonight to see a couple more thunderstorms. 79 now in Rochester, Albert Lee 79, Mesa City 78, and already 81 in Rushford and Winona. So reaching into the 80s now, and we have an afternoon filled with sun. And that south wind that's uh, drawing in more of that warmth and also a little more humidity. Dew point not terribly high, but that will continue to climb today and really be noticeable by tomorrow ahead of a, an approaching cold front. Definitely a muggier stretch of weather ahead of us right now. It feels like 81 when you factor in that heat index. So warm and humid today, a bit of a south breeze around 15 miles per hour. We'll have that similar situation tomorrow, but surrounding those rays of sun tomorrow will be some scattered storms. We'll have those off and on between tonight and tomorrow, all the way through tomorrow night, and then drying out for Sunday and most of next week. It looks like a warm, humid, and a sunnier stretch of days in store. We'll look at future track radar. Showers falling apart for the first batch of rain today. More lighting up to the west ahead of an approaching cold front. We'll see our chances of storms returning. At least a few of those this evening, but better chances overnight tonight into tomorrow and perhaps even a couple of rounds during the day tomorrow. But the severe weather risk north and west of us, marginal risk for the Twin Cities areas westward where some damaging wind gusts may be a concern. And the same situation now then rotates southward with that of a cold uh, approaching cold front. Uh, damaging winds, the primary concern, we could see some small hail or maybe up to one inch diameter. That would be uh, the criteria for severe storm. But timing for that, uh, best chance of that will be four until 10 tomorrow evening. Severe weather risk Sunday, not in our picture. We're looking at a drier day. So future track looking at maybe a couple of scattered showers, a couple of thunderstorms, especially after about seven or eight o'clock this evening into the late evening hours and overnight tonight. And we'll see those storms really uh, spread across the map for the overnight period. So tonight into tomorrow morning, another round comes in around four or five tomorrow afternoon into the evening of that cold front, then a drier Sunday. We wait then until about Thursday of next week to see any additional rain chances after tomorrow and tomorrow night. But up to half an inch of rainfall uh, in our weather picture for tomorrow and that uh, overall total. Uh, isolated storms after about 8 or 10 o'clock. The better chances they'll lie ahead later tonight. 85 the expected high and tomorrow right back into the mid 80s. Even with those rain chances around future track looking at that cold front and that storm system. Warm air being drawn in ahead of it. Some isolated storms this evening. More widespread storms through tonight into the first half of tomorrow. Watch that activity pushing through about lunchtime. Another round is expected to develop along that front itself as we head into the dinner hour tomorrow and then we'll dry things out after midnight tomorrow night into Sunday. But the humidity sticks around until about Wednesday and then it gets a little drier behind Thursday's cold front and not as muggy, but certainly a long spell of warm weather ahead of us. A lot of 80s in the coming days. 85 today in Rochester, Austin 85. Bright sunshine, south winds around 15 miles per hour, heat indices approaching 90 today. Scattered thunderstorms tonight, partly cloudy, a low of 65 with a south breeze. And tomorrow another breezy day with muggy weather, some scattered storms, especially morning and late in the day, 84. And then we wait until Thursday for a slight chance of thunderstorms again. We do need the rain, don't we? Quite a bit, yeah. Thank you, Ted. Just